All right, guys, so now it is official. We are going to get a brand new special Zenkai character coming out to Dragon Ball Legends this upcoming weekly reset. So let's talk about exactly who this is going to be. I kind of already know who this is going to be, but it could be a toss up between two or three characters, and I'll discuss that in just one bit. But I also want to hear your guys' comments in the comment section down below. And if you guys do enjoy the video, as always, make sure you guys please just like and subscribe because why not? It is for free. So Dragon Ball Legends just posted this image right over here and i don't know why but twitter is just really uh, bad at loading images right now so um it says here that character from episode frieza saga z is finally zenkai awakening so they've done this before two other times okay so the last time was back i believe in july which you know as you guys can see this image right here was for the um you know episode future trunks saga s and the background was blue right and we ended up getting Sword of Hope Trunks, you know, LF Sword of Hope Trunks Zenkai, which was a phenomenal Zenkai. So we ended up getting this. And on top of that, we also ended up getting this one, I believe back in maybe June. So yeah, it's like June, July, and now we're in August. So three LF Zenkais in a row. But this one right here was for Universal Saga. And we ended up, we ended up getting UI Goku Zenkai. And the background here is actually purple. So yeah, I mean, th the background does hint something. And if we just go back here, the background here is kind of yellow or goldish. So there's two characters with this type of background in specific. Now, in terms of LFs, there's only one LF, right? So it, it, it would be very weird for them to say, leave your predictions in the comment section down below when there's only one LF for the Frieza Saga, right? Which in specific is going to be this final form Frieza over here, the full power final, uh, final form Frieza, right? So... This character is 100%, I would say, if, if, if they're basing this off LFs, it's, it's the only option, so it would be a 100%, you know, chance for this guy to get a Zenkai, but it's weird that they're, they're saying leave your predictions in the comment section down below when they know for a fact, you know, they, they the, at least the last two times it was LFs and we only have one LF. Now, there's no guarantee that this could be an LF. This can also be a free to play ultra right because we do have this goku here and he is a super saiyan so the background here is kind of goldish yellowish so perhaps maybe i would say either final form frieza or this ui or not ui what am i saying ui uh this red super saiyan rage goku from the frieza saga right it's free to play ultra character so either that or the frieza you know there's also another option but he doesn't really fit the criteria in terms of the background which is going to be the free to play Freeze Saga as well, Ultra Scouter Vegeta. So one of these three are for sure, for sure going to get a Zenkai. Who is that going to be? That's a very good question. Like I said, most likely either Frieza because he's literally the only LF, right? Or it could definitely be as well the uh, the Goku. So um, if you're asking me who, who I would personally want, I would want this Goku. But, you know, realistically speaking, this, this uh, Frieza does have the best chance. Now... They are also going to see, like, it's crazy, right? It's like literally the same image here. So they're also going to have a maintenance here, guys. So um, this upcoming Tuesday, you guys have to make sure you do everything very early on. Uh, get all your dailies done, all your missions, your PvP, daily rewards, absolutely everything. Because the game is going to be inaccessible, you know, for a good chunk amount of time. Let, let's do the math here <laughs> together. This is nine hours. Oh, wait. No, this is more than nine hours. This is three, four. Yeah, no, no, no. This is, yeah, this is nine hours, nine hours of maintenance. And this isn't your typical maintenance, guys. This is, and by the way, don't don't worry about the uh, daily stamps uh, being reset because it says right here, they'll get you covered, but still better safe than ever, right? But, you know, obviously, um, you know, you know, the game is going to be inaccessible because we're going to get all these quality of life changes that we saw before, which, you know, by the way, I'll recover absolutely everything we're going to get this upcoming weekly reset with this maintenance um, tomorrow morning in like six hours from now. So I have a video scheduled for you guys uh, for then, and I'm going to release it in just one bit, like in a few hours. So make sure you guys stay tuned till then. Uh, till then. So um, really quick, another thing I want to mention is that the Freeza Saga campaign is not over yet because we got this uh, you know, Gohan character right here with the bulk cut and the Namek outfit suit. Not Namek outfit. So technically, it is, but Piccolo's suit, right? So, um, this character, this, this specific model is not in the game, right? So, we know that much. Um, these are all the Gohans we currently have in the game. So, we have this Gohan, this kid Gohan. If 
Twitter were to load up. It's pretty slow and all these Kid Gohans. Nobody has the bowl cut with the dynamic suit on is what I'm trying to say. So expect one more banner, not this upcoming weekly reset, the following weekly reset okay guys so be smart stop spending on the ginyu banner <laughs> yeah. although you guys shouldn't even be spending on the ginyu banner but look I, look i'll tell you guys this i want to take a look at this freezer really quick because honestly i forgot what he does but i know that this character could be quite dangerous the only issue that i have is that he's yellow yellow's not a look yellow has a really bad reputation okay guys I, I, i'll say this but yellow is needed okay because there is a lot of good purple characters right now roll, rolling out around the meta. You know, we got the brand new Ginyu, right? We got Goku and Frieza. The Goku portion is purple, right? Um, it's just the it's just the fact that he's yellow, and of course we got you know Ultra, you know Vegeta Blue roll, rolling around, and he can definitely one shot you with his ultimate. So it's quite scary to run a yellow in the meta, but we need something. This Frieza needs cover nullification against like um, ultimates. So like whenever I would say. He has cover nullification, or not cover, he also has cover nullification, but color nullification when an enemy pops in ultimate. If they do that, that would actually make yellows really, really good, okay? So, if they could do that, that would be perfect. So, I completely forgot what he does, but I know he does extra damage versus Sun Family. Of course, can I be canceled? Stuff like that. I want to see what he buffs. I know he buffs Frieza Saga, Frieza Force, and Powerful Opponent. Okay, so, it's good that he's buffing three tags there technically two tags in one episode but um let's just take a look at his main ability really quick it's draw the ultimate ultimate cards next death crusher um also restores vanish by 100 okay i completely forgot about that um also restores own health by 20 percent and key by 50 and plus 20 percent to ultimate damage and awaken damage inflicted by allies for 30 timer counts so yeah maybe maybe pop this guy's main ability before um anybody else's so yeah i mean I, I completely forgot about this not not a bad main ability whatsoever and by the way he is a range type unit if if i'm not mistaken let's double check it yeah he is a range type unit so uh blast blast um you know of course you know equipment on this guy would be ideal so um so his first unique ability is plus 20 percent damage inflicted against uh sun family cannot be canceled also applies the following effects itself when battle starts plus 70 percent damage inflicted cannot be canceled also reduces damage received by 40%, cannot be canceled, plus 25% to special move damage, cannot be canceled, and it nullifies enemies, you know, uh, pretty much endurance when this character attacks. So this is great. This right here, I completely forgot. So very much so, yeah, this is crazy, dude. So very much so like the tag androids. They could just tap shot you or the, you know, old school purple LF Rose. They could just tap shot you and negate your guys' endurance. So really cool stuff right there. Um, also, the following effects occur when this character enters the battlefield. He restores key by 30, reduces enemies, Dragon Ball by one, activates three times. So it's good to not start with this guy, okay? Bring him in later, <laughs> you know, so you can destroy one enemy's Dragon Ball. Um, also applies the following effects itself based on the number of defeated battle members. Uh, zero defeated battle members, you get 20% damage inflicted for 15 timer counts and increases arts card draw speed by level one for 15 timer counts. Also plus one, I mean, if there's one defeated battle member, he gets 40% damage. I think this is all stackable, right? Th that's what I'm curious about. Yeah. Defeated battle members. So yeah, you get all of this per defeated battle member. So if, if you're the last man standing, you're going to get 120% buff, I'm assuming, right? Because if this is stackable, yeah, that's pretty crazy. And card draw speed, card draw speed, right? That's insane. Oh, for 15 timer counts. Okay, so that's limited except for if you're the last man standing. So pretty interesting stuff, man. And also he has another ability called the Emperor's Pride. Reduces damage received by 20% until combo ends when changing cover. And of course, you can uh, combo in uh, blast attacks. Or no, um, oh no, he cover change against blast attacks. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's true. Um, also, the following effects occur if own remaining health is 60% or below after enemy's attack is over. He restores own health by 20%, uh, plus 15% to uh, damage inflicted for allies, and plus 50% to own key recovery, and minus 5 to own strike and blast cards costs. So this guy needs cover nullification. I don't see any of that. So definitely some cover nullification, unless his green card has it. No, it doesn't. Does it? No, it doesn't. So yeah, he needs cover nullification. He needs color nullification as well because yellow is a very, 
very, very dangerous um, color to be rolling around with, right? So, yeah, guys, um, comment down below your answers. And if you guys did enjoy the video, as always, make sure you guys simply just like and subscribe. And I'll definitely catch you guys once again on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.